Alright, we'll be differentiating the cube root of x squared, and even though this looks crazy, but it's actually not. Because you have to remember, in calculus, we almost always look at all the radicals as powers. So, when you have the cube root situation, you have to remember that we can change this to the power form. So, let's go ahead and rewrite this. We are still going to be differentiating because we haven't done the derivative yet, so write this down. And inside here, we will have the x squared, and the cube root is the third power. So, I'll just put this down, right? 2 over 3 power. And then from here, how can we differentiate this? We can just use everybody's favorite method, right? Namely, the power rule. I will bring the power to the front and then minus 1 to the exponent. And then you see that. And we did the derivative already, so no more ddx. We will have 2 third and then x and then 2 third minus 1. We get negative 1 third. And that's pretty much it. And now you may want to bring this down to the denominator. So you get 2 over 3 and then you have x to the 1 third power. And you can also rewrite this back to the radical form. So you get 2 over 3, and the 1 third power, it's the same as the cube root. And notice this is only for the x, so we have the cube root of x right here only, and then we have 2 thirds like this. And that's it.